You know, it's funny. I had the screen loading on, but uh, we're live now. But uh, anyways, uh, welcome to episode 46 of the Historic Crux. We are four episodes away from episode 50. The other thing's always been on for a damn year. <laughs> uh, today we're going to be talking about Divine Odin, which obviously we'll be talking about Broth, Lael, Pain, and Brood. Uh, and then we're going to be talking about the D Divine Odin fight. And then maybe we'll talk about the Dare to Defy global thing that's going to be new to global. I'm joined by Blind Eye, Alpha No, and Yoshi. Let's hope Blind Eye and Alpha No don't kill each other this stream. <laughs> no promises. Yeah, no promises. And good evening, everybody. <laughs> I feel about this, Yoshi. Good talk. <laughs> good job, Yoshi. Good job. Good job. All right. So. We got the notice about the on Odin literally like last Thursday, like like little when Titus was about to drop. And with that, we're getting four new C90s, four new uh, reworks, two BT pluses, one new, one returning, and one new FR. The new FR we're getting is Gabroth and the BT plus, which is new. And then we're gonna be getting Lael's BT plus, Pain C90, and Brute C90. First, we're gonna knock off. The, we're gonna knock out the LD only units. So. First, we're going to talk about Pain. So, Blond, I take the stand, man. All right. So, Pain, as Cross uh, detailed, is one of uh, two characters from the LD Onlys that get C90. Uh, Pain's rework is nothing special. It was just a damage increase. Uh, skill 1 and Skill 2 are three dumps. I believe Skill 2 was already three dumps. What they did to it is now each dump has a 50% splash as opposed to just the one. Uh, her skill one is still the only skill in her kit that applies a status break to everyone. And they did not increase the duration, so it's still five turns. Uh, LD got five dumps. Uh, it used to be three. It's five, and it still has the two splashes at the end, which is... I guess cute. <laughs> it also uh, it do it is also a um, a dispel and a cleanse a party uh, cleanse and a uh, enemy dispel. So um, it's pretty good to have uh, all around. Uh, her ex is assuming it's plus. It's very easy to plus. So you just have her dress fears at five, which she literally like I believe starts off at three at quest start, and you can just use any of her skills, and it just fives it instantly. Uh, her ex is now four full HP dumps, and uh, the potency on it went up, so it no longer uh, <laughs> it it doesn't hit like a wet noodle. Unfortunately, Pain's um, auras did not get uh, changed at all. And uh, how Pain works, for those who are new, uh, depending on what position she is in the fight, uh, whether she's on the left, the right, or the middle, she gets almost BT level aura. So like the left side is for buffs. So when your party applies buffs, it doesn't have to be like party buffs, but whenever they apply buffs either to themselves or the party, uh, her auras go up and then conversely speaking if you have her on the right whenever you apply a debuff to the enemy um, her auras go up uh, the relevant auras on the left are brave damage and brave gains and the relevant auras on the right which is pretty interesting is um, HP damage taken uh, to the enemy so it can go up to 50% and then their brave damage gets lowered and even their brave gain so it's actually pretty good defensively as well uh overall she's a solid like utility character uh pros and cons she has very strong auras based on obviously where she is so she can fit in a variety of team comps she's essentially one of these like jack of all trades character unfortunately for her weaknesses a master of none might as well be on there <laughs> Uh, she has a strong debuff, uh, both in terms of her uh, status break and auras, so it can allow uh, players to potentially bully uh, the enemy. Also, her LD has four uses, and it is a dispo and a cleanse, so it's a really high amount, so we can definitely add that there as a pro. She also has... Um, I believe she's a greatsword uh, Ultima weapon, so yes, she, is. She, she is a greatsword Um character and i guess one of the pros that uh, she has over the other characters is normally with these stack characters uh normally they just use their ld and like they're at full stacks in pain's case she doesn't need to hit her ld you can use her skill one and her skill two and 
her dress fears at five immediately after. So I'd say that's a, a pretty good pro. A con, even though her LD has four uses, it is limited. So if the enemy does like put like a lot of uh, crippling debuffs on your enemy, she won't be your primary uh, like cleanser or you're gonna have to rush it before like you know they do it for a fifth time because she only has four uses so you do have to play around that you do need a bit more planning when it comes to using pain since she is position based um uh, I, I don't know it, 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 she's definitely tricky uh her high armor is uh <laughs> it's kind of awful <laughs> It's good at the start. I'm pretty sure it's the debuff one. But then when you upgrade it, it's the Bart's effect. So it's literally like 5%. Uh, well, not it's not Bart's because Bart's is self. But like the party side of it is like incredibly bad. It's like 5% HP damage cap up and 1% brave. <laughs> or not 1% brave. Oh, my bad. Uh, no, 5% uh, HP damage cap up and then 20% brave damage cap up. So it, or no, 15%, excuse me uh overall pain is i mean if you have her she's a free upgrade um i believe pain is on the gabranth banner so i mean if you get her she's a decent option to build i mean you can slot her in in like one of your utility slots if you do transcendence but uh overall she's nothing really fantastic what do you guys think about pain why the fuck are you asking me about an ff tank character oh my god it just what? started <laughs> <laughs> I skipped her, so I got nothing else. I got nothing I to say. I skipped about her. <laughs> oh, and I guess one thing uh, for FR conditions, um, her FR condition or FR condition she ticks up is also limited. Literally, like me and Cross were like discussing this before HC, and it's literally like at best two conditions. It's lewd, which I guess they'd be pretty good together, and then Tifa, which is like Tifa would work because um. Tifa's conditions is if you do a critical brave damage no if you do crits on your brave damage and then do a melee attack and her LD and her skill one does it and she has 100% crit from her overhead so yeah I mean I guess any other like debuff one but like something like Lila says she definitely wouldn't be a primary source of it because she only has one debuff <laughs> one stack the debuff <laughs> Uh, I mean, I guess Yoshi and Cross, what are your thoughts on Pain? I think she's solid. I just think that the FR synergy lacking, it, it, it's weird. <laughs> it's just weird. Because <laughs> uh, the way I kind of judge characters' usability is like how many, F how diverse they can be within the FR department. That's why like I rate characters like, uh, well, counter characters specifically, right? So high. Why I, sometimes I rate elemental characters low. Pain is kind of like one of those characters where, because she doesn't synergize with a lot of FRs, I kind of rate her as like just solid. Like if you just want to put her on the team, you can put her on the team. She's not going to take up the FR condition. But if you just put it there for auras and then you have the other two characters driving the FR condition, then that's fine. There's future FRs that she can help out like Lilliset. Uh, or the any of the jack of all trades FRs that she really will be helping out with. Any element FR she'll be good with. But other than that, all those like really like special FRs where it's like, oh, you need to I don't know break the enemy or you know uh, you need to launch the enemy unless you have selfie in the party. I don't think she's she's not taking that. So like she's very strict with what she can do when it comes to FR conditions. Her kit itself is good. It's just that the that that little thing about there bothers me. Yeah, no, for sure. It does bother me that there are so many FRs now, even on, like on the JP side. And it's like literally less than 10% of the FRs she fulfills. And I'm not counting like the uh, the FRs that like everyone fulfills, like Ursula, or like it's extremely easy to fulfill. But like one of the ones where it's like you have to build a team around it, like yeah, no, she definitely uh, struggles to find a place when it comes to those FRs. Uh, Yoshi, you got anything to say about her? Okay, what is going on with Yoshi? I think Yoshi, Yoshi just hey. here. Yoshi's just here. He's like, Yoshi's hey guys, look, I'm here. 
Oh yeah, he is the quiet kid. <laughs> he, he, he gets a little bit of stage fright, you know. It's okay, Yoshi. But you should also make sure your mic's unmuted. <laughs> uh oh, is it? Is, wait, is it? Is it muted? Maybe. <laughs> it might be muted. <laughs> oh, any, there he any goes. Of you guys, Yoshi. 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 Oh. Oh. It's working now. Oh, yeah, now it's, it's working, working now. Working. Yeah, it's working now. What was Why? going on? <laughs> I don't know, my mic just stopped working all of a sudden. <laughs> so what are your thoughts on pain, Yoshi? This is fine. Like a mini BT Horaba. She sucks. <laughs> In your eyes, yes. In your eyes! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. All right, so now we are uh, paying out of the way. We're going to talk about the other LD character, the man with the best auras, uh, Mr. Worldwide, who himself is getting a C9, he's getting a rework. And uh, who wants to talk about this character? Because <laughs> uh, when I was doing info for my video for this character, I legit forgot what he got because no one talked about it. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I I never use Root past his initial debut, so I have zero idea what he. Not does. even after his lost chapter. Uh, not that I can remember. <laughs> I pitied him, and like I literally used them, and like I think two Lufanias, and that was it. <laughs> Damn. I mean, he does have that nice little gimmick where all the excess healing gets converted into bravery, and I think his is still like the highest, like percent converging right yeah it's like 500 percent or something now that everyone like now that everyone has a shitload of brave gain up on their c90s and stuff that could be yeah, that could lead to some shenanigans you could do especially since now you have that max brave gain limit uh reduction implemented so you can kind of use that excess healing gimmick to in in a sense bypass it since it's, it's a different brave gain tick but other than that, I don't really see much use for Rue because he's kind of just more of the same. <laughs> it's just more dumps. I think he got some auras, but they're still not like that fantastic. So I don't really see much use in Rue. Yeah, I don't basically. either. I, I the suppose. Best auras in the game. Oh, shut I up. I suppose. <laughs> I suppose I can talk about him. Um, hold on, hold on. Before, but hold on. Excal said. Uh, Excalibur said. Back in the day, I used Root CA a couple of times to trigger summon blessings like Odin or Diabolos. Yeah, that's what I used to do too. I used to do that for uh, Root and stuff like that. If I was running right, because I think he had, I think he had like max HP plus twenty percent upon entry. So yeah, like, so you could do like his arts. Yeah, arts does that. His arts yeah. do, does that. Yeah, you're right. But yeah, I mean, Rude's rework is uh, pretty standard. Uh, he got more skill uses on both his base skills. Uh, skill 1 is 3 split HP. Uh, skill 2 is 4, which is pretty handy. Uh, 4 single target. There's no splash in between, so that's the downside. And then the LD is, I believe, 4 full HP, and it's responsible for his um, the infamous LD buff that converts 500% of his excess healing into bravery. Uh, his EX now has five dumps. I believe there's only Splash at the end still. Uh, everything in his kit heals, including uh, his EX. Uh, his LD gets a, a notable mention because uh, the heal from his LD is based on 100% of his LD damage. And its cap is at 100% of max HP. So he's going to basically just like have everyone's HP to full just using the LD. That has four uses, so it's pretty good. Uh, his AA, I believe, gives brave damage taken uh, to the party. So that is, um, I guess, handy. <laughs> um, when it comes to his aura changes, I believe his LD got a party brave damage up 30% and HP damage up 20%. And I believe he got a self brave and HP damage 20% when he's above 100% HP uh along with like all the goodness that buff has which is 100 crit rate for him uh brave damage taken and uh you know a couple of overflows uh overall he's a really solid character pros and cons um he has a lot of party battery as Afana discussed uh earlier uh he also has strong like burst healing options 
Um, as we said before, he converts overhealing to extra brave, and he's literally the highest person. Like, I think after this, it's... Uh, I want to say it's either Firion or Maria at 200%. I don't know if you guys can correct me on that. I don't know. I know they both have that gimmick, but it's nowhere near as strong as Rude's. It's nowhere yeah. near as strong. Uh, I know his brave damage mitigation is higher, is like high end compared to like some of the other characters. 60%. 50%. Yeah. So that is something to uh, really keep an eye on. And I think, honestly, his ores are good enough to, uh, like, what would the word be? Compliment? Compliment BTF? Supplement. Supplement. Oh, uh, oh, and one thing. Uh, high armor. Uh, he's 1-3. Uh, he has 20% HP damage cap up because he has support armor. That is true. It does. So, it just. It mainly does sound like Rude is more of a third slot type of character. Like yeah. you just plug him in as like a filler character to do his thing. Because like his aura is outside of the brave damage reduction, which is pretty nice. It doesn't seem like it's high enough to really solo support. Like I, I wouldn't. I, I would still bring more auras if I were to bring Rude into the party. Yeah, for sure. And I guess he's Fist, Ultima weapon too, so I know Cross has been throwing out the idea that Fists are going to, uh, you know, have like a comeback. Uh, maybe he's the start of it, because I know there's another Fist, uh, <laughs> Ultima weapon next. <laughs> Wait, why is that funny? <laughs> Oh, just thinking rude is the is the rude, <laughs> the rude being the rude being the character to make a fist ultima. No, 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 no. You see, when I said fist ultima weapon was good, I'm talking about later down the line, right? Because obviously before this, you had what? You had snow, you had press, you had rains. All right, three really good characters, right? Zell, who's a little outdated, was also somewhat of a good option for that. Then you have Yang later, Yida, Tifa, Sabin, Afmal Ill. Um. <laughs> Ursula, eight. There's a bunch of. There's like a. Like every fist character in this game is good except for Zell. Yeah. I don't know about Beast until later, bro. And then Beast till later? To, uh, yeah. And, and then when it comes to his cons, I mean, his aura still aren't high. I mean, you can probably figure that out with, uh, you know, us talking about it. Alfie literally said he wouldn't be like a solo support. Like he would have someone else with him. So. If that's that me is. personally. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he is good at solo support. No, he really I, is not. He, yeah, you know, I, I doubt it. But bro, have you tried soul support? Rude. It feels like ass. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely not. And the uh, the excess healing is nice. And I would say back then it was incredibly good. But I'd say now, like, there's tons more ways to, you know, get through. Like, you know, like if brave damage gets shut out, like we have snow with his BT. Uh, Charlotta comes out later this month, and from what I've heard, uh, she makes it so that whenever someone does a brave hit, they get uh, brave gains based off of it. So kind of like a Kate Sith effect. Yep. Oh, any conditions? You want to you want to troll care? You want to troll care as Bird and Dash like a legitimate troll pick? And I know he's watching in the chat. Dash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, that's rude in a nutshell. He's a third slot character, which kind of sucks, because I know when he came out, he wasn't third slot. He was definitely, like, second slot. <laughs> he was like, like, you have a DPS, here's, a, here's rude, and then, like, a third character, like Himari or something. <laughs> I was rude the strongest healer in the game with that LT. Weird? We don't know. We don't know. The heal's based on damage dealt. Yeah. And he has uh... a lot of dumps. I came here to be a dick. Mission succeeded. This is exactly why we're not getting a single tactics character. Ever. Thank God. Thank God. Wait, what, what are your, your guys' thoughts on Rude and Alfie and Cross? Did you guys ever use Rude? No, you know what's funny? Is that I, no, 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 no. You know what's funny? I used Rude. I want to say... How, okay, so when did Rude come out? He came out like the second month of Lufinia, right? The second month of yep, Lufinia. Because he was he was on Sephiroth cycle. I used him oh. all the way until Aroha's debut, right? And then after you guys LD boards, I never used them. <laughs> I never used them after that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean I, I think I used Reno more than Rude. <laughs> Bro, I, I honestly I honestly wish I went for Reno over Rude low key. Man, yeah, no, outside of Rude's initial like debut era time period i i didn't really use rude that much uh what about you yoshi how long have you used rude uh used the debut then then 
literally at their LD boards, I stopped. <laughs> but also, like, to be fair about his LD boards debut, it was it was during that time period where for Lost Chapters where the Couldn't actual Lost shit. Chapter character got fuck all, and it was mainly just the new LD that got shit. Oh yeah, no, I remember that like fair. Dash didn't get anything. Dash didn't get anything. Struggle got, got something. HP reduction, Struggle that got that shit. Struggle got something. Uh, after struggle, who was after struggle? Oh yeah, Edward didn't get anything. <laughs> yeah, Edward didn't get anything. Gladio, Kadash. Gladio Kadash. didn't get anything. Kadash, no, Gladio did get something. With his he got a, uh, he got one free turn, I think. He got one his, free turn, oh, yeah, and then not only that, his uh, his what's it called? I believe his uh, LD now put on his cover buff. It does, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was my fault then. But like a large chunk of these other lost chapters just did not give. And like anything worthy to the actual Lost Chapter character, it was actually pretty sad. I just don't think yeah. that they, they cared. <laughs> they didn't because they weren't the shiny new toy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, poor guy, man. No, Kadash. Did Kadash you see Kadash? Kadash literally got nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, guy got a tuning pass. This is blue armor. <laughs> Can I point out something about Rude? Hmm? Go for it. So, currently right now, Shinryu, there's a thing called Brain Gain Limit. And I think right now, it's like right. 80%. But as soon as further we go on, it's gonna get lower. I think to like 60%. So he's like, he's not gonna be battering as much. Oh, yeah, that is a thing. Yeah, no, you guys talked about that before. Yeah, a little sort of bit. Like, yeah, yeah, so in Alfie Kirk, me knows wrong, right? The lowest they've gone was 50%, and I don't remember which fight it was, but they've gone lower than 50%. But I feel like that's the Fuck normal. If I know. That, well, you don't pay attention to that shit because you fucking break Fuck, no. it anyway. <laughs> but for, for as I know, is that they made it lower than 50% to prevent stuff like snow overflow happening more and more. Like, obviously, you can still do... Actually, no. I think by now, JP, you can't really do it right now. No. I don't think you there's can. No point. You probably still no, can. No, 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 like no, no, no. You see, no, when you said there's no point, you're giving Theological more fuel. That We don't want that. <laughs> Good. Let him get his views. Let him get his views. <laughs> All right, so yeah, that's uh, person. that's rude. Uh, he's on the Lail banner. Yeah, he's on the Lail banner. All right. So yeah. next up we have ukulele. I put it there on purpose. <laughs> if anyone doesn't get it, then uh, well, shit sucks to be you. But uh, Lail's getting his BT plus. He's getting a rework. Uh, his skill one now makes it so that it launches the target. It also makes his force debuff, I believe, ten turns. I think that was something that happened on his initial rework. Or it's this rework that made it 10 turns. But I know that someone new is that they made it launch. Uh, his skill 2 now has th 3 HP attacks, I believe. 3 HP attacks or, or 4. 3 or 4. Lail? Lail, yeah. Uh, S2 has 4. Oh, S2 has 4? Okay. Uh, Lail also got a... Uh, what's it called? Lail also got a... I believe he got something else. I forgot what it was. Oh, yeah. His uh, Geo Impact thing it apparently gave him recast up. It gave him recast up. Yeah, that's something I remember. So he got recast up. He got a lot of good... He actually got a lot of good things coming for him. The only thing about Lail that's so weird about him is that... Imagine being throwing ultimate weapon. <laughs> imagine being throwing up with the ultimate weapon. One of the few characters that's even worth putting it on. And then not only that, you don't have a single launch FR. Aside from Fujin, but guess what? We know what Fujin's FR is like, and you can't even tick that up with uh, anyone else's launches. So yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I'd, I'd even say, like, outside of FRs, like, Lail is a DPS launcher, right? And he doesn't, like, the selfie exists. <laughs> yeah. So, like, there's not really. I mean, he does have the debuff, which is a little bit, like, speed down or some shit on it, which is, I guess, nice, but I don't know. It's really hard in the launch department to top off selfie if you're yeah, looking for no, party like launching. We, we can't ignore the fact that selfie is just that good and she's so plug and play. Like, you can just put her LD debuff and then swap her out, and then it's like you're still launching everyone, so she has everything. And, and fourth, like, like, I wish that's what force would have been, but like, 
<laughs> it isn't. <laughs> Don't she? I swear on everything. I I swear on everything. Don't let me ban you. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> But yeah, Lael launches, and he's DPS-oriented, but Selfie also launches just as often, if not more. But she's a support character, so you can still run a DPS alongside her and get the amount of launches. I don't know. It's pretty hard. And then on top of that, I think Selfie has more brave gains than Leo. I think Leo literally only... Well, actually, no, his, his BT gives uh, 60, 50%, and then with the A8, 60%. Never mind. Oh, also, that's another thing. The BT is only six turns, which is weird. Oh, yeah. I don't know why it's six turns. Yeah, it's... I definitely feel like they shot themselves in the foot when it came to, like, Leo. You know what's funny is that I think Leo is the most delayed tuning pass out of any of the protagonists, I feel like, in this game. And then, like, it's either good or it's not that great. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I think I'd this one. I think this is his worst tuning pass, maybe. No, no, I don't think this is the worst one. Think I think his EX plus was color? less impactful. I think his EX plus was less impactful. I don't oh, know. Yes. I don't it's know. It's Clay ran him a lot, and Clay loved Lael. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure if. Like, I'm not sure. Huh? Debut was good. De no, right. I'm talking about EX plus De debut. De EX plus. No, like LD BT. Oh no, LD BT. Yeah. He was pretty was good. Fine. Yeah. Like, literally, the only thing he pretty much has over, like, I guess, self, well, I wouldn't even call this, like, what he has over is that regardless of what his position is, he always launches. But, I mean, if you're going to do, like, launch shenanigans with FR, you're going to go into someone's BT phase, so everyone joins anyway, so that's more niche. Like, back then, it was, like, incredibly good, right? Like, if you had, like, Leo and, like, Garland on the team, like, you would always delay, like, the launch funny. target. <laughs> but like now it's just niche rather than a blessing it feels like <laughs> like the the main upside is like he regard regardless of the positioning he brings everyone's in everyone in the launch right so yeah on bosses where whose turn cannot be like delayed or deleted or whatever uh he can be used there to pretty good effectiveness because he's always bringing someone in the launch and he has the bravery fund uh, Bard, I actually spoke with Liz Lizette on uh, their opinion on Lael. By the way, Liz is an amazing, amazing uh, content creator. Uh, I wish she uploaded more of though. But uh, uh, they even told me that Lael's rework in BT Plus was not, it's not, it wasn't for them. They didn't see it being good. They just said it was okay at best. Uh, I guess Lael is like, he's there if you like him that much i mean there's probably some Lael fans out there i think and, and i could be wrong about this but i think clay might bt plus him maybe because i know he likes Lael and he likes playing around with launches and stuff like that but i don't think Lael is that impactful i don't think he is there's that one point. youtuber that's a fan of crystal chronicles oh yeah that yeah there's a person out there who's a fan of crystal chronicles yeah I mean, he works, but just like who the fuck else. played that game? No. <laughs> <laughs> we, we also gotta remember his game has like one of the coolest antagonists, right? Oh, okay, you're gonna get muted. Nah. Somebody <laughs> wants to. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> Claim one BT plus him. That's unfortunate. Uh. Oh, and then I. I mean, one of the things is I wished his um his eye armor gave the party hp damage kappa but i know he has like 40 percent self hp damage cap up on his eye armor uh i don't i don't say it would be efficient uh but you could run him with knfr since one of the conditions is full party launch the one thing about Kane, using that the is using knfr so, and yeah. kane's fr <laughs> percentages are very very low oh, i don't think yeah. anyone's going to be using knfr with those percentages yeah for sure only a madman will think of doing that. <laughs> if he do that. Yeah, BC. This chronicle. Oh my god, I'm not talking about that. Alright. Anyways, uh does anyone even in this chat have Lael? <laughs> uh like, I had him LD only on his debut. I have his whole kit, because I believe Core had Leo BT, so like I take it in his LD. Uh, I think it's because I was going for Kais and him, and then when Core came out, I mean, I just went insta-gems and I got his BT along the way. So I do have his full kit, I 
don't have an interest in greening him, not even plusing it. Like, he's just gonna stay the same. <laughs> he could make use of Cam FR, I guess. That's everyone. I use That's him, everyone. Uh, Cam FR makes him... ulti look good. <laughs> makes Palum look good, but anyway. <laughs> it makes Palum look good. <laughs> Uh, I did use Lael LD only for a good bit, and he did feel pretty fun to use. I did like that his LD kind of shifted his own, like, turn, so he had that little bit of extra turn manipulation. But I don't know. Yeah, he felt uh, more fun than OP, even during his initial debut. Yeah. But Blind Eye, Reigns was better than him. Reigns is just the better Lael. Well, you know, at the time, Reigns was an Alcross. <laughs> well, that's why you skip it? Lael for Reigns. That's what he said for Reigns. <laughs> uh, Yoshi, you have an opinion on Lael? I don't know. I, BT Pitney is BT a course banner. I really used it like a couple times. <laughs> you know, I guess on the plus side is he does a little yahoo at the end of his BT finish. Can it make Actually, doesn't, doesn't his BT effect give Brave Gain up? Yes, it does. Yeah, there you go. Cool. That's but you know what's funny? His, right his BT plus also gives HP damage cap up. Exactly. By there 10%. You go. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> 10%. 10% yeah, HP oh, damage cap up. Oh. I mean, it's something, but it's like 10%. Well, no, no, it totals oh, to 30% because it, it has 10% 20 base. increase. Now it's yeah. 30%. Wait, how much was it before? It's 20%. 20. Now, it ah, increased by 10%. You're talking about Party. Yeah, I think the BT effect literally before was HP damage cap up plus 20% and then the battery, the party. I'm gonna check this. I'm gonna check this before we start spreading false in though. Let me see. I'm looking uh, at no, it you right guys now. are right. No, you guys are right. You guys are right. My bad. The Tevers are talking about the battery at their yeah. launch. Right, yeah, so my it, opinion it, on Lail has changed. He's a pretty solid green BT plus. He, uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, the thing is also... You could say, well, you know, he's part of the 50% Brave gains, but I feel like so many BTs that we've been getting, they just slap you, on you 50%. Stole, you stole a brave. shit that literally ripped from her fucking staff and just put on everything. It happens. Y'all remember Charlotta's unique gimmick of giving HP damage up? Yeah, and then everyone else got it. <laughs> now, quite literally, now, quite literally, everything, everyone has HP damage up. So, I mean, it just happens. That's just the nature of gotcha. Yeah. The, B, the BT effect has 50% Brave Gain and 30% HP damage cap up. It's solid auras. All right, so I better see that Lail Saga tree void. Because, <laughs> like, literally, I felt like at the start of Shinri, we had, what, like, four or five characters with 50% uh, Brave Gains up. And then now, starting a brand cycle, we have, like, eight. And keep in mind, we still get, like, one... Well, we get, like, about, like, four <laughs> BTs that get upgraded per month, so... The fact that what like three of them, well, like with out of six of them, three of them got the fifty percent brave gain of treatment. Like it's definitely less rare and more, I guess, more so uncommon that fifty percent brave gains exist. But yeah, it's definitely not as rare as before. Oh no! Someone posted in chat. Uh, can Cam's FR make Thanker look good? If you're gonna make Ulti look, look good, decent. it can make Thanker look good. No, it makes him look decent. It makes him look decent. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just uh, put him with Kane and then put him with Cam and then say, guys, look, Dank was doing work. Yeah, just find a way to get a BT face out of him. He yeah. felt so uncomfortable. I used them in, I think, Transcendence 8. <laughs> Dank Uh, Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. First off, I'm sorry you have him. Yeah, I got his LD on the free ball. <laughs> I'm sorry you kept it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So, out of the way with the uh, the filler trash throwaway BT+. Plus. Not really trash, but you know. Uh, okay. We have the main star of this banner, which is Gabronth, who hasn't gotten a single tuning pass since he literally came on the first Transcendence. Uh... Gabron gets a BT, FR, and he also gets a C90 rework. So, Alfie, take it away, man. Uh, uh, Gabranth, I call him a debuffer slash attacker, but he's more, way more on the debuffer side. Utility character? So, a what? You would just say he's utility based? Debuffer. Debuffer, whatever. 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 <laughs> Fucking whatever. 
So he gets his rework, he gets his FR and a BT, he gets the whole package. His rework, it was, it's pretty simple. It's really just more dumps across the board. Uh, his S2 battery is the party now, which is really nice. Uh, his C90 makes his EX, gives him a free skill use, which is actually pretty nice since his EX recharges under two skill uses. So you can either keep it up for longevity on another skill. I mean, longevity is kind of whatever at this point. Or you can use his uh, free skill use on his C65, which gives him attack, which gives him attack up, brave damage up, and uh, still has that HP damage resistance up for the party. So it is pretty nice. His FR, it is, it's a pretty okay FR. I think it feels, it's pretty hard to meet nowadays, or right now. Uh, it's pretty much every time a party member breaks an enemy on your turn, it's 30%. And if a party member attacks a debuff target, it's 15%. So it's a nice 45% increase. Uh, the, the main issue is the break condition. Uh, he does kind of mini give you like a small boost on this by unbreaking all of the targets after his FR goes off. Um, the main thing that kind of sucks about it is that it's only on turn breaks that will count. So if you do like a counter and it breaks a target, it will not count. It, you have to press a skill and break a target at the same time with FR it. boards. And, yeah. <laughs> break uh, on off turns oh that'd be <laughs> sexy <laughs> <laughs> another thing that kind of sucks about it is that if you break two targets at once it'll only uptick at one time so if you to really maximize it you really have to do single target breaking to get that condition upticked uh the idea behind this fr was to have one easy to meet condition and one harder to meet condition, but that harder to meet increase con condition uptakes it way more. 45% increase is pretty, pretty damn good uh, at this point if you uh, look past Camelon on <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, for uh, sure. <laughs> wait, uh, uh, what else? Uh, he did his LD also gives, uh, oh, fuck, what did it give nowadays? It gives uh, a party HP. It gets a uh, party HP damage. Uh, party dam. He gives it like a bunch of auras. Let's just say a bunch of auras, okay? All right. So yeah, his LD. I remember it gives. Uh, it it does give party brave damage reduction, which is really nice, and it gives him a lot more stat sticks, which is pretty nice. Uh, yeah, his HP gets damage brave. reduction gets. In yeah, his HP damage reduction gets increased to thirty percent, so it's no longer just twenty percent. So pretty pretty nice. Uh, his BT effect. Now this is really, really good. A pretty much basic stat stick. It, uh, it has 20% cap up, which is really nice. And by cap up, I mean HP cap up. And while this BT effect is active, his one unique frame debuff gets upgraded to an even stronger debuff. And this debuff is really, really good. It has 80% attack down. It makes the enemies deal less HP damage and it makes them take more HP damage. So it's a really, really strong debilitating uh, debuff, especially when you pair it with his generic attack down debuff, which is 30%, so that he has like, like 110% attack down, which is pretty hefty, pretty, pretty hefty. So he, he has a lot of really good debuffs. However, uh, his damage is pretty much on the lower side. Like, I would not use his BT phase during force time. Like, his damage is not great. Just put him I would bring him. <laughs> <laughs> I would definitely bring Gabranth more for the debuffing rather than his actual damage output. Because his damage output ain't that great. He doesn't have a lot of support, like, auras to go off of. Like, he doesn't. I don't think he gives anyone brave damage up or HP damage up. So he's a lot more. Uh, defensive sort of because he does have that brave damage reduction and hp damage reduction so he's really good at making your party be pretty safe uh he does take up four debuff slots which is pretty hefty especially since uh his ld and frames his two generics so you do have to keep in mind on your uh debuff slots especially if you're using gabranthid content like six man where you get <laughs> that eight debuff slots goes up real fast um, and if that's disgusting, <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I gotta read this out loud. Multi ratio lion, that is actually disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that's actually disgusting. Uh, someone in the chat said, so with LeBron FFR, it's rebreaks or Trey? Uh, no, that's not how it works. What you could do, though, and this is something I didn't mention in my video, is that uh, what you could do is like Gabronf with Sephiroth and make it easier. Yeah, that would make it easier to meet his HP damage or his force conditions. Although you are going to be hurting on the aura department at that point, but you could probably make it up with calls or something. Uh, he does suffer against cleanse heavy bosses because to get his debuffs inflicted, his two important debuffs, he someone has to get attacked. So if a boss cleanse and a big attack is coming, then you're going to need to have some other type of reduction to eat it because Gabranth will not be able to inflict his debilitating debuff. Uh, another downside is that his BT debuff, it goes away when his BT effect runs out or if Gabranth gets swapped out. So you can't use his BT finisher, get the BT debuff, and then swap Gabranth out for someone else because that will make his debuff revert back to normal. Oh, that's, oh, so, that's actually funny. Oh my god, that, yeah, yeah, that is funny. So if you yeah. use him as a friend unit and the friend unit gets swapped out, it's like, nah, oh, that's nah, 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 that's good because people would abuse that shit. <laughs> It's yeah. like, oh, back, back to Outlaws brand, do you go? <laughs> Bro, you know what's funny, though, yeah. is that they, they knew, they learned from Cam. That's how you know they learned from Cam. <laughs> yeah, so if you want his BT de debuff, Gabranth has to stay in the party, and his BT effect has to be active. So that is a big downside, because do that means you cannot swap out Gabranth. Uh, he does have rebreak, which is pretty nice. His LD still does the AoE rebreak, which is pretty good. Uh, although it is limited on uses. Uh, Judge Magister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what else? I mean, Against... he, is a sword, he is a sword ultimate weapon, right? Yeah. That is true. All you fucks with using it for Titus, you can put on Gabranth instead and be a Chad. Uh... Uh, I guess, <laughs> and I guess one of the things about Gabranth is he has balanced armor, but it's support armor. So he has 15% HP damage cap up. Right, right. I suppose, I'm a bit surprised Skill 1 doesn't have Rebreak, to be honest. I swear in the trailer, it showed it, but they didn't show, like, Odin's bravery numbers. So people, no, that's what people thought it was. It's everything but Skill 1 Rebreaks, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Except his HP plus and Brave plus, but who presses those buttons? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what else? Against Break Immune enemies, he still works perfectly fine. Like, he's not really hindered. His FR gets hindered a lot by it, so you'll have to use a different FR, but against Break Immune, he's still perfectly fine. He doesn't have, uh... His party ores are weak. I think I mentioned that already. <laughs> I thought his party yeah, ores were pretty it. solid. No, it's... No, no, he doesn't I think get... in total, it's attack 55, Embrae 50, Brave damage 30, and HP yeah. damage... Or taken, excuse me. He doesn't... Brave the brand, taken, the brand does not give Brave damage up and HP damage up. So you'll need another aura bot with it. Yeah. It was really Doris. See, he needs he like you bring up Brand for debuff specifically. He does not give auras at all. Like, like, like technically auras. speaking, cross, like I think Root has better auras than Gabrant. That and definitely that is. says a lot. <laughs> yeah, that says a lot. That's definitely sad. But you know, I personally <laughs> think that this character is more learning to, leaning towards defense play but you can put him in def uh, offensive teams it's just that uh you know he won't work as well you know right the but, thing uh, that i the thing that i find funny is that people say he's defensive but his kid feels anticlimactic when it comes to defense <laughs> no it's defensive like his FR re-breaks all like the targets three times, like after each HP dump. And then like three of his skills like unbreak some when you want them to take turns because of how like powerful he is defensively. I don't know, it just feels yeah, like I said before, anticlimactic. Is it his S2 does have also, like reverse splash. So <laughs> So like that's if the dumbest term I ever. It, it's in my life. it's so dumb. You'll so your target for those who don't know for, about reverse splash. It's when your splash damage does more damage than the actual person you're targeting, and his S two is a big offender of that. So if you want to actually deal big damage to someone, then uh, you you better target someone else. <laughs> 
No, no, no. You see what you see, Mog. This is what Gabron said for our condition is gonna do, right? When he gets his boards, what's gonna happen is that they're gonna make the break con condition because uh, MF asked this earlier, but uh, there are FR. Uh, the only other break condition that I can remember uh, in my on top of my head is Aranea, and Aranea does work with the off turn, so they'll probably do that with Gabron, honestly. Probably oh, with boards. Yeah, with boards. Because think about the this, brain. right? If if it worked on off turns. That'd be really good. Yeah, it would. Yeah, there's also a break condition. Oh, there's also Arden and Vein, but of course, it's Arden and Vein. They take up their own conditions. <laughs> yeah, like right now, I think the only rebreaker that's consistent, because I'm not going to count Titus as Jack Shot as it is uh, or Jack the other only right now. No. I knew it. I knew no. It. Uh, Arden. Why do you mention Jack? Uh, Arden doesn't have C90 right now, uh, Carl. Uh, yes. No. You said mo no, 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 no. We're not playing this game, motherfucker. You said, <laughs> we're, not playing now. You, 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 we're not playing this game. You said most consistent breaker, okay? And I said Arden <laughs> because that motherfucker has skill one that rebreaks, EX that rebreaks, LD that rebreaks. Oh wait, no, that's, hold up. That's that. No, that's that's when he gets reworked. His skill. Oh my fuck. Right now, you. right now, I the only you. thing that rebreaks is his EX. I hate you. Get away from me. <laughs> uh, Sephiroth. Someone, someone did know. throw out Sephiroth's BT effect. Yeah. But that's a BT effect. <laughs> that, that is a BT effect. Yes, yeah, Grant guess... has a lot of like debilitating debuffs, so he does protect your party pretty well. But I think Gabron's good. I think he's good. Uh, Blonde, I think he's absolute dog shit. You know, the second coming of Thank Grant. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you, use, you use Gabrant for debuffing. He is. He DPS. has helped me a lot. Yeah, you don't. I would not use him as your DPS option. Yeah, if anything, he'd probably be a third slot, like we said earlier, <laughs> for for Rude. Oh, so basically, from what I can tell here, everybody except Leo is a decent third slot. <laughs> <laughs> What's but, Leo then? Obviously, it's a lot more ideal to have like a character with just flat out brave damage reduction. But where Gabranth exceeds is uh exceeds that is bosses that ignore brave damage reduction because they still get affected by attack down and Gabranth is loaded on attack down uh like i paired Gabranth with beatrix who gives a lot of defense up and on stages like ridia's fr mission dungeon where they ignore brave reductions and hp reductions and this recent shinryu with uh god who who was it who VVBT? Uh, six man, VVBT, six yeah, man. With, v, with VVBT, the six man stage where they ignore brave and HP reductions as well. Uh, with Gabranth and Beatrix, they can make bosses hit for ones in terms of brave damage, so it makes reduction ignoring attacks really, really safe to eat. Time to revive Kimari Beatrix. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it always that <laughs> bad? <laughs> Yeah, he does have a lot of HP damage reduction, which is pretty good. Like, a lot of HP reduction. He protects yeah. your party really, really well. That's yeah, always what Gabron really, has it's been. It's really it, high it, up. It's really high up there. I think it even beats oh, yeah. a Porum with BT+, plus, right? Yeah, because his BT effect with the debuff, it makes the bosses do, like, 50% less HP damage. And he himself gives, like, 60% uh, with, with his AA. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, it, it even beats out Porum. So yeah, no, he's rarely loaded when it comes the to the bronze. Will will enable the Palum Saga. You like playing with fire, so <laughs> oh, it is a sign we were talking about. <laughs> oh, right, who who listens to sine wave? Yeah, don't listen to the FS2 stand. It's disgusting. <laughs> listen to me, an FF14 fan instead. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make it any better. Um. You can say F. Oh wait, no, F fifteen will probably make it worse because people don't like that game at all. <laughs> playing with ice, you mean? No, but playing with ice in, in, insinuates that you can eat it. Can you? Can, you're not eating fire. <laughs> Anywho, spicy, food. Uh, spicy food is fire. Yeah, spicy food is fire. Yeah. Uh, Yoshi, what's your opinion on Gabrov? Because we already know Blind Eyes bias against characters. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just big right now. All of it's gonna be my playstyle. I kind of shifted more towards being a sweat. <laughs> oh, you shifted towards being a sweat? Oh, did you pull Titus? I have his stuff already, yeah. Did you max him out? Down in the middle of that. <laughs> so that's a yes. You're about to. 
Lard, yeah. why you gotta interpret right, it like right, that, Lard? Right. Where's Where's Yoshi's YouTube channel? But on where's Yoshi's YouTube <laughs> channel? <laughs> um. Yeah, but uh, Endo and Lard's weird guys. By the way, check out his new video. Uh, Endo the chat. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, no, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, but uh, Gabroth and Painter on one banner, Lael and Brood on the other banner. The other two characters are their LD units, but they're fodder at this point. Uh, Saz is outdated as shit. I guess his call is nice, but he's outdated as shit. And Steiner oh, is Steiner. And by that, I mean he's just okay. He's not amazing, but he's okay. Well, I will say, if they bring out, like, global first content that's, like, pretty similar to the last boss rush we had, where Wave 1 nullifies our Brave gains, like... Saz's brave steel isn't affected by no, it. Like, no, no. You know works. what I want every fight to do? I want every fight to lock out Cam. Just lock out Cam entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Just Cam. Just Cam. Watch it. What? No, no, no. It's going to say, you can't bring Cam. You bring Cam, the first turn we're killing you. <laughs> Orders in shambles. Yeah. <laughs> Steiner HC, though. The way to oh. BT with his FR. Yeah, yeah, BT and FR. And you know what? Steiner's going to have the... Uh, his trance, his trance has an outfit. Yeah, and then he still won't have refunds between his dumps. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna hear his armor noise when he freaking does his BT finish, uh, Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, who's pulling on these banners? Because I know for a fact I'm pulling on Gebron, uh, I'm I'm getting for, I, I loved him in FF12. Uh, he was a fun character in the City of Games. I loved him when he came out. Uh, his his LD call and his uh, the regular call is still very good, so I'm definitely pulling Gabron. Brant is one of the three FF12 characters that I really like. What's the other two? Ash and Vane. Vane? Good yeah, part. I like Vane. Wow. I thought Vane was really cool. Wait, you don't like Balthier? Balthier is pretty cool too, but I like Ash and. Uh, what about Panello? <laughs> He <laughs> 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 would be that guy who likes Vaughn. <laughs> Wait, I like Vaughn. What? No. Uh, yeah, cross liking Vaughn makes a lot of sense. Listen, listen, I like <laughs> Vaughn's playstyle. Listen, listen, Vaughn, no, 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 no. Any spin off game Vaughn is in, he's fun to play, okay? In 12, his character is okay. And Revenant Wings is better, but no one played fucking Revenant Wings, so no one really cares. In tactics too, in tactics advance too, he was pretty cool. Oh, listen, Vaughn got dripped out. That man got a vest and everything. Oh yeah. Fucking in the water. Ash thighs. Oh. Okay. Um, oh. When, it, when it comes to my plans, though, I'm honestly skipping. I'm gonna pull on the next banner after this, and. Um, no, no, I'm gonna skip Gabrand. I know people are like gonna say, oh, but he works with Jack and whatnot, but eh, I don't find his playstyle too interesting, so I'll pass on that. Brand's animations are sick as fuck. I love yeah. it. Oh, I love his FR animation where he teaches yeah, Gao cool. like his really moves. <laughs> Make Gao Brand. Yeah. That pairing actually makes a lot of sense when you actually know the lore of both the characters. They're both stray dogs. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> All right, so we got the banner out of the way. Let's talk about the fight. Now, this fight's interesting because uh, I believe this is the fight where Alfie spent about 45 minutes on a single run with yep. no FR. And uh, tell us how that experience was. Uh, It's long. Odin has about 110 million HP or some shit. Yes, he does. Either yep. one, 110? Okay, yeah. He has 110 million HP to get through, which is... A lot for a single target fight. I know, like, it's technically less than, like, the first Shinryu, because the first Shinryu was, like, 60-60, but that's two targets. This one is single target, so you need a lot of HP dumps to get through it. Uh, Odin, I actually kind of like this fight, because this is a fight that does punish you for skipping thresholds if you don't kill the boss. <laughs> we need more bosses like that. Yeah, so for those who don't know, Odin's pretty much entire gimmick is that uh, every time he does a break, he gains this aura stack of Fury, which is a pretty much just field effect. Uh, it, this is depicted by the aura that's around him. I think at zero, he at zero stacks, he has no, no aura. 
but then like as he gets more stacks he gets this he gets a yellow aura and then a red aura and then if he breaks you again while well, he has his red aura uh he instantly wipes your party no it's when like, he gets a turn it's when he gets a turn oh is it when he gets again when gets a turn when, so the red aura right when he's about to get a turn he will kill you i think Unless, unless I'm thinking of someone oh. else, but I think there was, I think there was a run out there where someone used Dash and he was about to do the insta kill attack, but he was paralyzed, so you couldn't do it. it the ores, the stacks go up when he does a break, which includes him. Yeah, acting. so meaning if he breaks you, then you're probably yeah. dead. Yeah. Yeah, and because of this stack mechanic, there are thresholds where Odin gets automatically gets stacks of fury so if you skip past too many thresholds and don't kill odin he will instantly wipe your party because he's at max uh, fury stacks he there's turn warping he does he, there is turn warping uh he does hit pretty damn hard uh his force gauge hits really hard i mean it's it's a really entertaining fight something you forgot to add is that his uh his force time puts on this Debo called Plasma Slash and he does his attack. I'm I'm not saying what the attack is because I can't I can't I don't know what it's what it is, but uh yeah. it it basically insta kills you if you have the debuff on it. Oh yeah, yeah. His force time dispels one buff from your whole party and he inflicts this eight turn frame debuff. And if Odin attacks anyone with this frame debuff, he will automatically uh well kill them. Like instant KO. Zach won't help you. I think that uh, attack can be dodged, though. I don't know. Let me check. I did uh, use Reigns for his cleansing. Uh, Zetetsuken Divine? No, that's guaranteed hit. No, no, not, not Zetetsuken Divine. It's something called Doppel... It's called Doppel... Uh, and I'm, again, I don't know what how to fucking pronounce it. Oh, the it. Force Break? The Force Break? No, not that. <laughs> oh, the other one? Double Run... Right. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the attack I was talking about. Yeah, that, that's that's a guaranteed hit. The plus version. Uh, yeah. the plus version is guaranteed hit. The regular uh, well, one isn't. Oh, the regular one, one isn't. And one more thing is that while his fourth time is active, after any turn you take, you will be delayed by one turn. So it's the mid Italian bosses gimmick. So they really try to make Odin get a turn during fourth time. Uh, you can, I, I use Reigns for his EX cleansing. And so I didn't really have to worry about the debuff. And I also brought Alphano for the break immunity, so I don't have to worry about his Fury sacks at all. <laughs> However, because I brought Alfie and no FR, that run took me 40 minutes, which is to this day my longest run on JP. Or at least at all. I think you also uh, forgot to go happen, Yoshi? You also forgot to mention the the stacks you get reduces your max break and max HP. Oh yeah, wow. that is the thing that happens. Yeah. Ah uh, yeah. Oh he yeah. Redu he reduces your stats across the board. Also, when he does get his red aura, which is two fury stacks, it lowers your buff rate, which will, will which will make you unable to refresh your buffs. Aside from overheads, I think overheads are unaffected, but in terms of generic and frame buffs, you will not be able to refresh those. A, so it's a pretty involved fight. I really like this. I thought this was a really cool a fight. A really, a really uh, asshole-ish thing that Odin also has that someone we did not mention is that Odin at 20%, or I believe it's 10%, but at 20%, he will gain two Fury stacks instead of oh, just yeah, the nine, one. Yeah, so if he does that and then you get broken after that, you're basically dead. <laughs> Or, or if Odin already has one stack, then you will wipe immediately. And uh, pretty much the way to reduce his fury stacks is to break them. Yeah. So, like, obviously that's where break immunity helps a lot. So you just don't get broken to begin with. Because Odin does have, like, force breaks, like a chance to force break enemies on his normal attack. Uh, but also, like, you just bring Rebreaker, aka, like, the Brant's S2. So that or, you can or you could break on, fast. Or you could break them on the off turns, like with Orin that and works too. Yeah. Or as, I feel like Orin and Gallop are gonna be very good MVPs for off turn breaking. Because uh if he's going to be consistently because it's a game of not getting broken, but consistently breaking Odin at the same time. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Odin does hit pretty hard. There is one thing you can do, because he does have turn warping thresholds where he also gains like three turns in a row. Yeah. <laughs> which is perfectly enough to wipe your party, funny enough. Uh, for his force time, 
if you're able to like cleanse the debuff before he does the turn warping uh for his force time he only does brave attack he will never do an hp attack so you can overlap his force time with like one of the turn warp thresholds and be completely safe because he will only do brave attack even if he's able to to wipe your party yeah I think all in all don't get broken break odin and if you're trying Maybe to DPS, have a cleanse method. if you're trying to DPS this down, uh, you better have some very like, good DPS because you, uh, <laughs> you better kill him because if you don't kill him, he's gonna kill you. Which is really, it's really cool because this is a fight that punishes like threshold skipping unless you can Bo kill the boss. Bro, bosses unless, should unless do that more. Bosses it. should do that more. I want these bosses to punish us for threshold skipping. There's too much of it being bypassed. I'm tired of it. <laughs> The problem is Titus is a problem right now. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Titus is a problem. He should be removed from the game. <laughs> I mean, you can use my... Oh, actually, no. A very good MVP for this fight is actually Ursula. Ursula's Embrace 4 will be very nice for this. Uh, a, a good couple of people did use Alfie, and that's me included. And Yeah, and in this yeah. Barret runs. <laughs> Were there actually bear runs? There was bear runs, yeah. There was bear runs. <laughs> I want to see you don't remember Stimpy's uh, 73 turn uh, bear run that took like an hour? Who, did, who else did he use? Like uh, Pal Paolo. Ew. <laughs> and Gallop. Uh, well, Gallop's cool, but ew, Paolo. <laughs> you know what's crazy, though, is that you can't knock the Palom choice because Palom actually has the re-break in his kit. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, someone use King. Oh yeah, King is also good for this too. If you have him, mm -hmm. Dash is really good here. You have a lot of good options for defensive play, but if you're trying to burst them down, there's a lot of things you have to take into mind. Cause like, yeah, you, if you, you in, if you get that one percent, and that one percent really does matter. If you don't kill him in the BT phase, he's going to kill you. You want to know what my defense was? It was Alphano Moonstone Carbuncle, that 10% brave damage reduction. <laughs> <laughs> I also have Reno and uh, Gabranth calls for damage reductions. I think I, I think I brought Seymour call as well. So that's a, a good bunch of like attack down calls. But yeah, no, Odin hits pretty damn hard. Yeah. I'm thinking of bringing Zell. Ooh, I would not recommend that. I no. honestly would not recommend bringing Zell. Like, he no, consistently Zell breaks. With, uh, selfie and Cam. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it's a good fight. I think a lot of people will like this fight. Who want to? Who want like tough bosses? I think people global will hate this fight if they're if trying to play it normally. So what, who are you all like planning on? I'm pulling a Bronf, so I'm probably gonna use a Bronf, Galif, and then. My last character, I don't know. I really don't know who my last character is going to be. Damn. <laughs> oh, hell no. You would never catch me using that. <laughs> in fact, if you ever catch me using camp, I will use it intended. Like, I'm, I'm going to be like VC where if I see launch, I'll be like, nope, not pressing the launch. Yeah. Nope. He'll be the hipster cam user. Yeah, hipster cam <laughs> user. Uh, use no. You know what's the sad part? There's actually a run with him. But it's with fucking cam. What is it? I don't think there's cleansing anywhere. In this no, fight. he doesn't cleanse. No. Yeah, he, he, he dispels one buff from your whole party with his force ability, but he doesn't cleanse his debuffs. That would be really fucked if you're if he cleanses his debuffs and Gabrant is fucking featured. Uh, I actually don't know who my third in this fight will be. I think I'm, I, I want to say, oh, well, Gabran for no sword ultimate because, uh, Sag, I'm not crafting sword until after Spear, so. Or maybe I might break that rule, depending if Arden comes early. Actually, if Arden actually does come early, like that red comment event, like people saying he might be coming. Uh, Tara? I, uh, Tara, fuck that bitch. <laughs> Sorry, Sal. <laughs> uh, but, uh. I mean, Phil certainly would, probably. But, but Arden. If Arden gets his FR in rework early, uh, one of my old twelves is going bye bye, <laughs> and I'll craft it later. But uh, yeah, uh, it is easy to cancel Odin's force time. It's literally just doing a melee FR, and that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. that, like that's it. You just press a melee FR, and his uh, his uh, force time is I think canceled. I don't know if yeah. it's canceled or if it's frozen. It's I'm pretty canceled. sure it's canceled. I think it's canceled. 
they don't start freezing FR. They, I think the first one goes and they start freezing FRs. Let me check real quick. You know how cool. FRs work is if there's a condition, if you meet the condition, it's frozen. No, it can't. It's canceled. But if you don't meet it, it's frozen. Yeah. Okay. If the, cancels enemies' force time effects, if the conditions are met other than during force time, force time will be stopped. Oh, but blinded, there are some. There are some like force times effects where it freezes their enemies' force time in terms of canceling the force gauge effects. Mm. Like for, uh, I think it's Bryles uh, IW that had Embrave floor bosses. If you do the Thunder FR condition, then I think it freezes their gauge it froze but them. makes them break. It, it breaks them, I think. You're able to, you'll be able to break them. Ryzen LDCA is a good idea to prevent plasma right. slash debuff, but that's also hey. like relying on you killing him before he does the second one. Excalibur says it's paused, not canceled. I, I, he is a trusted source, so I'm just gonna believe. Yeah, him. I'm gonna trust Excal on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's gonna be a fun fight. I think uh, I think a lot of people again. If you play it normally, it's a good fight. If you just brute force it, I mean, I'm not gonna blame you, but uh, at that point, you're just playing cam. You're, play you're, you're just playing Candice at this point. <laughs> you're playing Candice at that point. You're not playing Divine Odin. You're playing Candice. If you're gonna rush Odin, then you better make sure you're able to kill him. Oh yeah, you better make will, sure you're able to kill, kill him. Yep. One he tiny, you. one tiny mess up, you're just dead. You know what would have been really fucked up, though, if, if they wanted to be like this? Imagine, like, if you, uh, what's it called? If Cam did something where, at a certain point in the fight, he got, like, an Embrae floor. <laughs> uh, I'm basing it off, uh, companion discussion, though. I don't play JP. You should. Also, there's a day to fight quest. Uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. But, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, what's it called? Divine Odin is gonna be a fun fight. It's the last, uh, Divine Summon. Uh, that's actually, yep. damn. How, how many last. years was that? Now that, cause, uh, Divine Diabolo started in Lufenia. Oh, Lufenia, and that was before Brave Game Reduction Lufenia. Yeah, and then, uh, Divine Panda was in Lufenia Plus. It started it. You're yeah, forgetting, it um, started it, yeah. You're forgetting, um, Actually, no, never mind. What? I thought it was Ultimate ba or Divine Bahama, but it was Ultimate Bahama when Kuja debuted. No, it was Ultimate yeah. Ba Bahama, yeah. Yeah. But uh, Fusion FR Lufenia. and Tier 10 back to back. Listen, listen. The only reason why people fear about Fusion FR is, uh, uh, not a Fusion FR event is if, uh, if it has a shitload of health, but you know, some people are used to that, you know. Having a lot of health isn't really a bad thing. It's just that uh, if you're not running Layla for 24-7, <laughs> uh, it's not that bad. Uh, nice slow Final Fantasy my whole life. That's good to know, dude. Well, to be fair, during this time period, I was I was pretty busy. But I think Fujin the FR event was like the one event I used cam shenanigans and didn't record. <laughs> how, how did you feel after you did that? Uh, I was like, damn, this, this is really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> but i'm not gonna lie to you i did it off camera and i did the same thing you did i did it off camera but it was an event i already did i did the titus raid event right and it was just a test use mock you know uh i used cam a cam friend and i got the whole setup thing which that shit was easy i'm sorry but it's not really that fucking hard to set that shit up um i used it right after i finished that run i said to myself i am so glad I will never use this in a legitimate run in recorded. Never. Yeah, because it's already being ran to the ground. Everyone already. Uh, looked, yeah, they're running the feature. It <laughs> I'm pretty sure ZK used Cam FR and Fujin and on uh, Fujin FR and took 50 minutes or something. Damn. Well, maybe that global first character that's coming early probably will help us with that event. You know. Yeah, Xenos. Yes, yes. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely Riku. Listen, all I'm saying is that if they do move up Arden, which is two months ahead, I don't think that will completely break the game's balance. And the reason why I say this is because people are sitting here defending Cam. If you can't defend Arden, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> 
I'd say if Harden comes up early, that's a pretty like he'd be pretty damn good. I think he'd be up there. I yeah. think he'd be competitive with Tito. Like maybe. he eats very well. I'd say he'd be more competitive with Machina you know, since they're both melee. Titus is mixed. Nah, it's red thirteen. Oh, uh, I was talking about like the perspective of like oh, down like his control. damage. Yeah, in terms of damage, I like Yeah, I got you. Hey, Yoshi will probably resume his Arden saga. You know, uh, just just no. put him with Snubber Flow. You know, just put him with Snubber Flow. <laughs> get the view. Uh, here, here, uh, Yoshi, I got the I got your team comp for Arden, right? All right, so you get Arden, obviously. All right. you max him out, get the Force Enhancements. Yes. Then you bring you, you bring Selfie, right? Selfie. Make sure she has... Make sure she... <laughs> What's so make, funny? <laughs> you make sure you bring a Kurosame call, right? And then you bring in yes. a Cam. Yeah. And you press the Cam at far. <laughs> and then you... <laughs> Arden with Anna, Anna Cole BT phase. You know what's the sad part? Uh, Indo, while I was doing a test run with Dark Knight Cecil's FR, uh, I actually used that call on him and it actually worked out. <laughs> it actually what? worked out. What the uh, there's a There's a selfie once every stream. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Fuck that Anacro. Uh, Anacro call is a piece of shit. Uh, it, it, I, I reset it so many times to get like two Anna ticks for Yastola's BT phase when she got. Tree Boy, Tree Boy, don't make me ban you. <laughs> don't make me ban you. <laughs> uh, and I call <laughs> Yastola BT phase into Bahamut Summit. That was the most down bad thing Alfie has ever done. <laughs> that was amazing. I loved it. Well, I haven't done both in the same run yet, but definitely it's going to happen at some point. <laughs> uh, But I guess that's everything Divine Odin related. I guess what we could talk about now is uh how Sarah's finally getting her BT and FR. <laughs> I'm, excited. So excited. I'm excited for her. I'm excited. It's about damn time. Yeah, I, I can't believe I I'm racing the craft bow I now. Think, I think this month in Global, it's like she's getting her force enhancements, but it's like, bro, where's the rework? <laughs> yeah, she her, gets it with the... Her, oh, e I think. her EX is still too dumb. <laughs> think about this, right? Why is your EX the worst one in your kit? Yeah, when in C90, <laughs> when the EXs gets improved. Also, Excalibur says guesses on what the global FR is on August 5th. We're thinking we... it's either Terra or Arden. It's, it's either Terra or Arden. Banners. Yeah, but I I'm... think it's most likely t uh, Terra because this is really close to Luna Freya's debut, and that's when Terra came out. And it'd be funny to see Arden up here, like, literally two days after Luna Frey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that would be Bro, great. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to say it on stream. But uh, there was something I was thinking of someone, some evil, it'd probably be me, but honestly. But, like, what I want to edit, right, is, you know that scene in uh, in 15 where he kills Luna Freya, right? Where he kills Luna Freya, obviously, right? So I want to make a scene, make a uh, edit, right, where I use his F, I use uh, Arden's uh, FR, right? But I use Luna Freya call, and while the call is going active, it's just Arden slapping Luna Freya, and it's like, <laughs> "Bitch, make me more powerful." <laughs> you, you just, you just gotta hope that the the Leo bug comes back, so that you can uh, use Arden and just target Luna Freya. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I bet you, I bet one. you, somewhere out there, they're gonna make a shimmer you where it's just mannequins. If someone sees the art, and you you see the Luna Freya mannequin, and they're using Arden, and it's like. It's just like that 15 cutscene. <laughs> yeah, this is the Altisha uh, uh, chapter area. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I'm actually surprised they I actually took Altisha and put it in default like that. I thought they were going to put in like uh, the, uh, what's it called? Actually, have they put in, uh... no, they have put in Insomnia, right? Yeah. They yeah, have. They have. It, it was the final. Already. It's the final area of uh, Ignis's debut chapter two uh, yeah. seven. What fifteen location haven't they taken from? Uh, I think they haven't taken from Hammerhead. Um, mm -hmm. Did they do Nifelheim already? I don't think so. No, Nifelheim. I'm pretty no, sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's just Insomnia and Altisha. Then Core I think, FR. I think they did uh, oh, that one area. You, that one dungeon area you do when uh, Ignis goes blind. Oh, right yeah. The train sequence. Yeah. The little, where you fight the Malboro. I think they did that one. 
they've I been, could be wrong. <clears throat> they've been doing pretty well when it comes to recreating, um, I guess, like iconic battle scenes. And listen, like, um, listen. I like I know still... thirteen. I know thirteen. They recreated one of Elsa's uh, battle. That was cool. That was very cool. Yeah. If only he did. Listen, every, I, he listen, did, listen. Every single phase. I don't know why Benavides was mute. I don't know why he's mute. <laughs> Say for Sephiroth he's mute. Say for Sephiroth. No one cares about Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah, Say for Sephiroth was weird. It's like you're fighting Say for Sephiroth and Gongaga. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> yeah, you're just chilling by then, you know, all day. All of a sudden, you just see this giant ass angel, like, hey, what's up? <laughs> I mean, they did for 13, they did Cocoon, right? That was Sarah's debut chapter. They did Eden. Yeah, it was Eden. Eden. Yeah, yeah, Eden. And they also did Fox, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, they did the Labor uh, 13 2's. Uh, yeah, they did 13 2 Academia. Yeah. Oh yeah, Noel's LD debut. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. They did yeah, that was very things. cool. Yeah, thirteen got a lot of good locations. Honestly, that could make. I, oh, you know what's one that I think that they might do, but I really wanted to do. Wait, Benavelza? Yeah, Benavelza in default, he's legitimately mute. No I don't know why noises, he's mute. There's no attack noises. There's no dialogue noises. He is completely. So the only way you can make him say anything is if you're a video edit editor and you edit in the voice lines. <laughs> just, 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 just copy and paste uh, Hope's basic dialogue uh, voices. I mean, it, I mean, they're both the same voice actor. <laughs> that's, that's a joke, Cross. Shut up. <laughs> that's a <the> joke. <laughs> They just want you to listen to the background music clearly. I mean, that theme, fuck, bro, that theme, bro, when I, I, I was like, when I saw Ben Avilza be the final boss of chapter 10, I was like, please let it be the final boss theme. And in the moment I heard the first, per, the first part of it, I was like, I'm not muting the game audio this time. <laughs> would be funny if uh, I just played the normal chapter Divine love. <laughs> Divine love. I mean, I like that one too. No, what I'm saying is this. They should have just played the basic Act 2 boss theme over it. Oh, the, I would the be they, so the one angry. They, the one they use for all their co-op events. <laughs> I can wait for Hope BT to have the Benavelza transformation. No, probably him with Alexander. Actually, that look and goofy as shit. Could you imagine Hope BT? He just summons Alexander and it's just a giant ass ship in the air. Because uh, for those who haven't played 13, uh, Alexander, uh, or for those who have played 13, uh, Alexander in 13 is literally just a giant fortress. <laughs> yeah, it's a fortress. It's a wall. <laughs> and when you fight him with Hope, uh, if Hope's underleveled, he is prone to one-shot Hope. <laughs> yeah, if, you, if you want hard mode at 13, just play Hope. Uh, well, no, no, no. If you want expert mode 13, j just play the hard mode mod and make hope your party and leader. Hope. And hope. <laughs> That's what I did. That shit was eight. <laughs> no, no, his BT, his BT animation cross would be when uh, they invade Eden and he appears in front of the Orion and he just goes, hi there. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, here's the question though, right? Because we know that every character is going to get BT at this point, right? I wonder yeah. what they're going to pick for each individual 13 character. Because Lightning has Blinded by Light, the short version. Snow has Savior of Souls. Noel has Last Hunter. Reigns has Desperate Struggle. Caius has his final boss theme. And then Sarah's going to get Paradigm Shift. I just want Eden under siege for someone. Uh, probably Fang. <laughs> uh, probably. No, I think I, Fangs I will be dust to dust. I thought Eden under siege would have been... Uh, Reigns is, but I was wrong. Into it, you, in, Lard. Lard, you need to go away. Lard, you need to go away. <laughs> <laughs> go to morning jail. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I think Saz's might be Tess of the Lassie. I think it no, might just, be him. Just make, the... it, just, just make it his character theme. Oh, just, just make it his character jazz. theme? <laughs> smooth jazz. Uh, Hope BT animation should be on my guys. So he actually transform, transforms the Ben of Elza like Caius does. Dust of Dust will be such a good BT theme. That could be Vanille or uh, Fang's BT theme because Fang's Lost Chapter does play that song. Someone needs Nessence Requiem or the other one. I don't remember. Uh, Born Anew. That's well, probably going to be Dysley. Or Dysley's well, going to get a fighting fight. I'm, 
I know Worlds Collide plays on one of uh, the story chapters where you recruit Sarah. I'm not even sure what. I they think could Sarah use might either get Worlds Collide. Oh, that'll or... be Yule's BT. <laughs> huh? <laughs> that'll be Yule's BT. <laughs> oh, Yule! <laughs> you get this like sweet, innocent girl just playing hard mid, mid BT, <laughs> mid BT, mid, mid BT, she's gonna die, and the next thing you know, you see all the other Yule pop up, and you just see them shoot a giant beam. Yeah. <laughs> and it, uh, the BT effect expands your turn order, so you can look further down the turn order. <laughs> oh, that'd be funny! <laughs> Jill and the bot, global first win, oh boy. I had, literally had, like, two cutscenes. Yeah. And then no, she had, like, she had, like, five. Yeah. Ooh, 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 three more. Five out of how big of hey, a game. Hey, listen, she was hot. That is, she tried to kill you. That's why everyone wants in the bot. Just because she's hot. Because she tries to kill you. She tried to kill you, bro. Yeah, no one talks about Yuna Leska and she tried to kill you. Yuna Leska literally is not even wearing any fucking clothes and she's yeah, literally she's... a snake. That is disgusting. She's revealing. <laughs> Mog BT. That's and like Robert the Kante second BT FF10 before. character that freaking Alfie would allow because Seymour praises her highly. Uh oh. <laughs> Nabot is mommy, tree void. We need to. Okay, Endo, I'm timing you out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Endo, I'm timing you out. <laughs> I'm timing you out. <laughs> it's just nine wave. They're, they're saving the Zonde BT for the Act 4 Chapter 1 debut where it's like Zonde and FF3 focus. You get the Zonde BT, and then part two is, uh, 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 fuck, Lunas. <laughs> nah, watch. It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be an effective strategy to use Enacro's LDCA and go into Zonde's BT phase immediately, just to get his five stacks on his oh, well, EX. I, I'm actually, I, actually, is, uh, someone correct me on this. Mog is getting the BT, right? And I know Squall's yes. getting rerun run there, right? Are both of them getting FRs, or is it just Mog? I I thought Squall was a campaign. Mog manner. BT? Yeah, because he's getting intertwined will. So yeah, Ma like every every BTFR. character from now on, Blind Eye, they're getting BTs. Yeah. Damn. So yeah. Rubicante is getting a BT, Mog is getting a BT, Kurosami is getting a BT. BT. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, Squall gets reworked at the same time as Mog. I don't know if he's like synergy for Mog or if he is a campaign banner next to him. It would be kind of stinky if they just if, if they just did a rework for Squall and gave him nothing else. I mean, if Squall gets his uh F if Squall gets his FR here, then we only have like three BT characters without force enhancements. Oh, Vincent and Zach. Zach. Yeah. yeah, Zach. Let me check. Uh, someone in the chat be like, "Oh, actually, there's four. Yeah, we, we technically don't know if Squall is getting an FR, but we uh, know he's getting a rework, though. Yeah, that's one reason people are thinking he's getting an FR because he's getting a rework. The problem is he's getting a rework at the same time as Mog, who is guaranteed to be getting a BT and an FR because right. of intertwined wills. So we don't know if he's going to be getting an FR again or as well, or if he's just getting a rework and no additional like." bonuses mm. it it'd, be, events, it'd be really uh, sus if they just introduced two new frs on right. no, i don't think head. honestly it would be sus at this point i feel like they should they're, they're gonna start speeding up frs because let's be honest fr echo is pretty insane right now and they are probably leaning towards making a new difficulty aside from shimryu probably someone like uh what, what's a step above shimryu like like is it shimryu like at least God in the Final Fantasy uh, series. So like Shinryu, Shinryu Plus. Shinryu. Oh, just slap plus on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, they did a little bit Uh, look, well, okay. So after that, what? What's next? Shinryu Plus Plus. Yeah. Very oh, Shinryu. Pharaoh like, Chaos. From... Pharaoh Chaos difficulty. I could kind of no, see no, it. It's gonna be very Shinryu because like they did very hard. Very for, uh, Shinryu. <laughs> Sounds like a fan fiction. <laughs> I want Mog BT to be a, like a Naruto Shadow Clone ju Shadow Clone that attack. That would be funny. I, I really just want him to pull up with a, a bunch of Mogs and just dogpile. What if it's him. every Mog from the series though? Like Type Zero, Thirteen Two, uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen's pl plushy Moogle, uh, 14's Mog, uh, here, everything. Here's what you do. You, you, 
for the new difficulty, they should name it Bahamut to celebrate Strangers of Paradise Bahamut difficulty debut. You know, it's sad they probably will do that. <laughs> they probably will. Pharaoh okay, Chaos. Well, you see, Tree Boy, what this is the same director as Strangers of Paradise, so they'll name it Bahamut instead. <laughs> yeah, because they can't just do chaos. Because I believe chaos they is already just did. in all caps, yeah. They, they already did chaos. Which funny. Funny enough, Jack's debut stage, you fight him in the chaos difficulty. <laughs> you know, Stranger Stranger Paradise characters are two for two from busted. Yeah. Yeah, Neon is pretty yeah, damn no, good. Neon, and the funny yeah. the funny part is she works against elemental reductions because she hits rainbows. Uh, you know, that makes me wonder, right? Because correct me if I'm wrong on this, right? Jack represents darkness, which is obvious, right? So Jack mm -hmm. is darkness, but he does have an element, of course, because that'd be dumb. Um, Neon represents fire. Jag represents water, right? Because he's cracking. Yeah. yeah, I'm, yeah. Oh, oh, I spoiled yeah. the game. Well, <laughs> and then there's Sophie. Is, is it really a spoiler that they literally said in the report that each of his companions are going to be based off of their fiend counterpart? <laughs> I, I think it might be. I, I don't know, dude. Let's just go on. Anyways. Uh, Ash is going to be... He is Lich. Lich. So Lich. he would be... He wouldn't even have That's an element, nasty right? Nasty buffs. Yeah, he'd be having nasty debuffs. He'd have some nasty uh, debuffs. Sophia hopefully. would be win. She'd be win. Oh, yo, that could help the Fujin FR uh, yeah, extension. The Fujin FR. <laughs> Listen, uh, Sophia's mom. <laughs> Sophia's Careful. hot, so uh, Sophia's I would definitely mid. pull for her. Neon is mid. Neon is mid. <laughs> <laughs> he is, though. Hey, I mean, Neon works with Jack, so, you know, that's a plus right there. Ash is Earth and will bring forth the Guy FR meta. I hope Ash's force partner is Guy. Also, can wrong? we talk? Also, can we talk about how JP is getting like so much fire <laughs> attention right now? Oh yeah, there's Ruby Conte coming up pretty soon. Ruby Conte was also revealed as well. Yeah. You know what's funny? I think fire is one of the most common elements in the game next to thunder and i believe ice they all that but not holy oh holy too yeah, yeah holy, no, too. holy, holy is, is yeah, common. holy is the most common i'd say Ho holy is stacked <laughs> all right let me check let me check all right so fire has 17 characters ice has 14 oh wow ice doesn't have that much that i thought then yeah uh, thunder Thunder's has 19 probably stacked thunder has 19 water has seven Earth has seven also. Uh, wind has wind. 14. Oh, wow. Dark has nine. And then Holy has 15 characters. So the ones that are the most stacked is Thunder. Holy. Uh, at, the, at the same time, how many of those are like multi elemental characters? Like, seven? yeah, because like we know, we know Wind, for example, has Cypher, even though he only has one wind attack. Right. And Noel is there because he has wind and ice wind on ice. his Tempest Strike. Ugh, the numbers are a little bit bloated. Yeah. Edge BT effect should make his counters go off twice like Titus. Okay, listen, I love Edge, but let's make him. Oh, well, he's still stupid. <laughs> let's not make him ignorant. <laughs> Oh, I mean, his boy, his boy is finally coming though. Cross. Who? Ruby Conte. Ruby Conte. <laughs> and she's gonna be like, "Why the hell are you here?" <laughs> they did, yeah, they basically, didn't, his freaking they didn't, rival. They didn't drop Neon to celebrate Strangers of Paradise. They dropped Neon to make her a partner for Ruby Conte. <laughs> yeah, in those hearing it, she's like, "Fuck it, in the fucking Alfie." How dare you slander my girl like that? <laughs> well, pretty soon we'll have the fans that want Barbaricia. Hey, that's me. How would you fit Casana Casanago and uh, the other dude in this game? Casanago. That would sound really weird. I mean, they could. I mean, they're units and other gachas. So Trade like, BT if, effect if, will let him trigger his chops on turn? Make it happen. Right, Make cool. it happen. Hey, oh, no, Thancred's BT effect uh, gives him more brave hits, but no cap up. <laughs> <laughs> brave hits without the cap up. Let's go. <laughs> All right, we're almost at the threshold. We've been spewing uh, 10 minutes of nonsense. But, you know, that's what's funny about this stream. Uh, Yoshi, close your thoughts. Yo, three more days. So Xenoblade 3. Oh, Zenoblade. yeah, Xenoblade 3 is in three days. Hi. Well, te well, technically, too, because Midnight released, right? 
28th? Yeah, because they'll come out at midnight. I had never heard of. You, you, you know, never, digital. you've never heard of midnight release. No, stars are closed. Yeah, bro. Yoshi. Yoshi's a Yoshi. fucking fake Xenoblade fan. Yes, Yoshi's a fake Xenoblade fan. Fake Xenoblade fan. <laughs> Yo. Damn, he's never like set up tent at like a I'm game stop and night. wait until twelve for the midnight release. Yoshi Damn. stared at that Nintendo eShop store page, refreshing it for like three hours to buy the game, but he doesn't even know when it releases and he can play it. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna get my copy like on date. <laughs> oh, it's a physical oh, you copy. ordered a copy. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, never mind. I take. I I don't take back what yeah, I Yeah, don't explain. act like that. Ooh, <laughs> that explains anyway. everything. Yeah, I was about to say I take it back, but I actually don't. All right. Uh, one. I close some thoughts. Uh, three more. Well, technically two more days until our sixth FF10. I mean, until Dare to Defy releases. <laughs> uh looking forward to that event uh hopefully everybody has a good time with it because global first events are always fun and challenging yeah. have a good night everybody mm -hmm. uh Alfie, close some thoughts bankrupt sucks i knew it i knew it i knew it yep. i don't know what else to say dog <laughs> uh that's why i, I stopped oh, by one more so thing uh cock feet there you go just gotta, just gotta, just gotta <laughs> uh, listen, listen. At least you're not talking about that thing last week. <laughs> Wait, what happened last week? Oh, well, I have to talk about it after the stream because if I talk about it now, it's gonna be very weird. Uh, but anyways, uh, my closing thoughts is that uh, uh, at midnight tomorrow, guys, I'm playing Gumball because it's coming out tomorrow at midnight. You already know I'm simping hard, and by simp, I mean I'm literally gonna be on that game the whole night. Uh, I'm gonna stream on YouTube, not Twitch, because, uh, since I have the whole thing now on YouTube, I might as well just try to stream on YouTube more. And also, my closing thoughts is, uh, the month of August, uh, second month of FR era. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you're ready to pull more FRs, because all this all lockout thing. Uh, you know, those, uh, you know, Sh Luna Freya and, uh, Tifa Skippers, you know, they, they just, uh... You know, Fran, Fran BT zooms in. Like, okay, you need to stop. You people need to stop. <laughs> okay, that's it for the stream. Good night, guys. Yeah, uh, if you're watching the YouTube side, like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for the follows, by the way. Uh, the two follows, by the way. But uh, like, comment, subscribe on the YouTube side. <laughs> I'll check you guys later. Identicals.